Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for allowing you you know, allowing yourself to be you, allowing yourself to be the true you, knowing and growing about, uh, I said knowing and growing, that's how I say it, yeah, <laughs> knowing and growing about yourself, because we, we were growing and knowing more about ourselves as, as, as an uh, alliance, you know, as allies or whatever you want to call it, as more in depth, you know, you know the true meaning of who you are, and it's just like, just knowing all these gifts that, you know, kind of collaborate and just go right on right along in the mix it's such a beautiful thing so allow yourself to keep growing and learning more about yourself each and every day and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have you know been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you are comfortable enough i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive content of my video or um positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just opening up telling me about your empathic gift or um you know and how it impacted your life and sent you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video has gave you good vibes and you want to share it with somebody please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites I said social media favorites I don't know why I've been getting tongue tied on almost every video that I've been doing today on social media favorites so but I hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of my video and thank you so much for stopping by and the beautiful meditation music I'm listening to is raise your positive vibrations 432 hertz of release negative blocks deep relaxation relaxing healing vibrations and I will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about impasse when the elephant speaks in the room Yes, when we have the elephant speak in a room and it's just like it can be the most uncomfortable, ungodly thing <laughs> that we want to happen, especially when you're the elephant in the room. And it's just like, you know, there are so many things that we probably endure through life as in childhood, during birth, or, you know, just as in a relationship that could have been very unhealthy or just downright toxic. You know, we suppress a lot of things that, you know, we want to overlook or just don't want to deal with them because we don't want to feel it. I I'm, I do it a lot. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie. I do that, but I know that I need to heal from these things. It's just like, you know, people don't like it when I speak the truth, and that's fine. You know, but you can't get mad at me for telling the truth because at the end of the day, it's still going to be the same thing as it is. You know, especially when you, you know, it. like I tell y'all all the time, you know, my videos has brought me such a tremendous blessing, but it has allowed me to be vulnerable with you when I felt like I couldn't be vulnerable, but then you had to see me that way. I needed you to see me that way because just to let you know, there is good days where I'm goofy and silly. You know, there's, you know, I don't even talk to y'all when I probably half sleep and it's just like, I love y'all like that, you know, and I feel like I wanted y'all to see me in every aspect when I'm happy, when I'm sad, when I'm angry, when I'm aggravated, you know, and it's just like nothing, you know, uh, negative vibes towards you. It's just like when I ever feel like my vibes are just not, you know, meshing right, right with my videos, I won't do them. <laughs> you know, it's just because y'all pick up on so many things about, you know, how a person is feeling. And it's just like, I love the fact that you can tell me that you feel that, you know, that welcome energy, that warm hearted feeling. And that's a good thing. And it's just like, you know, doing the videos and some people don't watch the intro and then they finally find out that's the elephant in the room. And I, I know it can be a shock to people, especially if you, you know, experience what you experience, especially when you know my dad and, you know, all the things that's going around. It could be a shock, you know, and it, it's the elephant in the room I had to speak about, you know, and it could be uncomfortable to me because I worried about you know how people see me how they see my father you know because there's part of you know part of his life that a lot of people didn't get a chance to see you know there's parts that you know the reason why that I couldn't even connect like that is 
when, especially when I heard my dad talk, because it was like two different people. You know, I would talk to him, I don't know if it was just because the Gemini thing with him, it's just like, when I talk to him, it's a totally different thing. When he's out here in public, it's, a, you know, a whole other story. But I had to be able to address the things I'm suppressing, be able to, you know, forgive people that put me in this predicament, that influenced me to get me towards this, you know, predicament. And that was something that was very difficult to handle. You know, and there are some days that I, you know, I try not to get in my feelings about it, but it can make you get down in your feelings because it's just like going through that and, you know, trying to heal. It was hard. It still is, you know, on certain things, you know, because if you haven't had closure, especially, you know, especially when you have lost a loved one of your own. And you, especially if it's your parents, that's a hard thing to accept because you always feel like, you know, your parents are going to always be there. But then when you find out something like I did, you know, that was a whole different ball game. And there's something I didn't want to accept, you know, something that I didn't even want to deal with. Like, no, this is not happening. No, this ain't real. You know, my family didn't do this. I said, no, you know, you know, even though they try to make things feel like it was my fault or feel like that there was something wrong with me. I knew there wasn't anything wrong with me. There was just, you know, me stumbling on that truth. You know, being an elephant and spoke the truth. But it's just like when you go through things, you know, like I tell y'all all the time, we have a reason for being in the situations we are. Maybe it's from a karmic past. Maybe there's some things that, you know, need to be cleared around the people that are around with us that we were involved with with the last life. So be able to allow, when that elephant wants to speak in the room, allow that truth to become, you know, to come to you. You know, there's a lot of things that you need to heal from that you probably haven't accepted in your life that you know you need to. And I tell myself that every day. You know, we can't change the past. We can't change how people have done us. We can't, you know, change what they have done. But you can choose to, you know, break yourself free from that. You know, don't, you know, try not to have any kind of contact if you possibly can. You know, but we have to heal from these things. It's like when the elephant speaks in that room, there, you know, you're going to come across some things that are not going to be pretty about your life. There's, you know, things that we need to heal from that, you know, you downright feel like, I don't know if I can be able to do this, but we can. You know, it takes time. And nobody's perfect, you know. I just, you know, I just, when I watch, like, my, my shows, like, The Vampire Diaries, you know, I see how they end up switching humanity off. And I said, I just wish I could just, you know, on my, you know, my memory switch, can I just cut that off? <laughs> you know, because it's just, it'll be just fine if I don't even remember certain parts of my life. You know, there are certain parts of my life I still don't remember, but there was for, for a specific reason. And, you know, when we're going through things and we address things, and we see things happening, and then especially if you, you dealt with a traumatic past, if you've been abused or, you know, abused or just went through downright anything, and the memories will start coming up, that's the things that we know we need to set free, or it's just our subconscious giving us that alarm saying, you know what, you remember this, but this is something you need to set free. This is something you need to acknowledge that, yes, you went through this, but yes, you have conquered it. Yes, you're, it's not happening to you anymore. Or things that are happening to you that you have no control over. Know that eventually things will change for you. Blessings will come. And, you know, the, the, the it can't rain every day. You know, it can't rain every day. That sun's going to come out for you. So allow that elephant to express itself to you. Allow the truth that you know that you need to accept. Accept. <laughs> and whatever you need to let go, let go. So I hope you were able to, you know, resonate with the content of my video. I hope you have a, you had a blessed weekend, you know, starting your day off on a beautiful Monday morning. So I will talk to you later. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You know, like and share on my social, on your social media favorites. I don't know why I said mine. On your social media favorites. Give me a thumbs up as well. Drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the content of my video or you're opening up telling me about your empathic gift. Or go ahead and, you know, like and share. Or well, I already said like and share. No, I meant uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will talk to you later. No, uh, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can on an extra note.
and know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And I will see you later. And yes, people are out there praying for your better days. So I will see you on my next video. Peace, y'all. Be bye.